So this is a so this is a poem called "If Have You Ever Tried to Be Who You Are." Uh, Religious oppression by me, Carl Nicholas Ursa. Have you ever tried to be who you are under religious oppression, where people get so frustrated when you when you, when you, when you get so frustrated, your thoughts turn into aggression. People always telling you what to believe in when you're looking for the truth, something to see in. People always telling you things and forcing their views, knowing some people don't think there's a God out there being beaten and used. Telling you there's only one God to believe in. Telling you you have to sell your soul just to see him. Trying to find God on your own, thinking about all the things that happened to you when you were torn away from home. Having having that many people know you were abused. Feeling torn between your beliefs, not knowing which one to choose. Growing up with a very religious mother. Finding it hard as hard sometimes to show you care for her and love her. Doing your best to find your own way. Wondering why God wouldn't let certain people in your life stay. Certain people who you cared for and loved. Wondering when some of them died, if they made, if they died, if they died, if they went to heaven up above. The question, uh, question, questioning whether there's a, whether there's a heaven or a hell. Wondering if it's true that only time will tell. Wondering if the end is really near. Wondering if people really have something to fear. Because people are being, uh, because of people being told the rapture is around the corner be born again or else you'll be a goner knowing there are different gods wondering what was wondering wondering if what was said was true by a prophet named todd listening to their their hateful views wondering if god really loves us why wouldn't we have the right to choose who to marry when they say being gay is a sin in their sanctuary Having their views against the gaze, wondering why you, 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 wondering why you came, wondering why you should stay. When there are so many paths to religious freedom, I mean, look at these people. You should see them, see them preaching the hate when all you want to do is go out with a man on a date, torn between your head and your heart. You know, it's not staying there would be very smart. This is my view on religious oppression. Thank you for your time. I hope you learned a valuable lesson.